might be right Either you feel it or you don't Might give it a try, yeah Our bodies collide Hey guys, welcome back to my channel It's your girl Stacey Renee You already know, before we get into this review Go ahead and hit that subscribe button If you haven't already done so And if you enjoyed this video Give it a big thumbs up Because it really helps my channel out Alright, so today's review is from the company We Queen Hair and they sent me over this 20 inch knotless box braid wig honey and it's a lot longer than 20 inches this wig is like 30 something it's all the way down to my what past my waistline and I'm like five six so it's way longer than 20 inches but they sent me over this wig to try and I really enjoyed this wig. Like I've never done a braided unit on my channel before so this one is the first and I hope it's not the last because I really enjoyed doing this wig. Like it was so simple to put on and the lace that they use blended so effortlessly with my scalp. I didn't even have to use any powder. Don't mind the baby hairs. Y'all know I'm not the best with these baby hairs and I really hate doing baby hairs but you know with it being a frontal wig you have to do something. So you know I mean you can either do the baby hairs or you don't have to but I put a little baby hairs in there just to give it a little spice. So yeah they sent me over this wig um let me see if i can find any more details on the wig um just says that it's glueless box braided lace frontal wig classical hairstyle it's a 13 by 5 lace front wig and the cap size is average so that's 22.5 the color is like a 1b natural black it says it's heat resistant but this is synthetic hair i didn't try to put heat on it because there was really no need to put heat on it um it does come with pre plucked baby hairs as you can see so mine aren't the best but <laughs> they don't came down y'all i was doing so trying to do other styles with it the baby hairs that came down or whatever but y'all get the gist of it and this unit is perfect for people like me because i am very very tender headed and i cannot get braids because they just hurt too bad so, you know, for all the tender headed ladies or men out there who would love a braided style but can't bear the pain, this wig is perfect for you. So, yeah, everything will be listed in the comments down below. If you have any questions that I may not have answered, please comment them down below. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, let's get into this review. All right, guys, so like I said, this wig is from We Queen Hair. It is a 13 by 5 knotless braided wig. They said it's 20 inches, but of course, it's way, way longer, which I didn't mind. I love the inches, don't we all? So this is what the construction looks like of the braids on the lace portion. And this is synthetic hair, but I feel like these braids look very well. They were well braided and evenly spaced all of that they just did a wonderful job it does come with baby hairs so you can either um, use the baby hairs or cut them off that's up to you the inside of the wig is constructed as per usual it does have two combs on the side one comb in the back and it does come with adjustable straps and it also comes with a sewn in elastic band now when I got this unit, I did take it out of the pack just to look at it beforehand and it was slightly bent up due to the packaging. I'm referring to the actual braids. They had a bunch of creases in them. So you may wanna just take the wig out ahead of time if you um, plan on wearing it um, on a specific day. You can just take the wig out and stretch it out or I did see another YouTuber dip the hair in some warm water to straighten the creases out um, and he did say that it helped. So those are just a couple options you have if you decide to order this unit. Along with the unit, We Queen sent over a generous amount of hair cuffs and hair jewelry 
to customize the unit so I really appreciate that because a box this size online goes for at least about ten dollars so there's not much styling to do the only thing I'm doing right here is just kind of pushing those baby hairs back out of the way so that I can prepare to cut the lace off I'm not going to glue the wig down I typically don't leave lace on whenever I install my units because I just think it's a lot more flawless when the lace is already cut because it doesn't leave all that you know sticky residue on your forehead that you got to go find water or alcohol to try to get off so I'm just gonna cut this off and then install her um, another reason why I wouldn't have left the lace on for this unit is because it was very firm on your head and it was um, it would have been too hard to cut through and get the lace off anyway um, it's very firm fitting and I really like that because you know it just helps the lace blend in to your skin better if the lace is tight I'm also cutting very very close to the hairline if not into it that also helps the lace blend with your skin to give it that melt effect so today's products I'm using my got to be free spray glue to adhere the wig and I actually didn't have to use my fit me powder up under the lace like this lace blended so so well I was so surprised and so happy like when I tell y'all this is one of those put on and go wigs it's literally a put on and go and I would advise that it is beginner friendly because it's just very easy it was very easy their braids you don't really have to style them if you don't want to but yeah okay y'all since we don't have much to talk about with the installation process what about my makeup though do y'all like it I think it was super cute I tried to go for a red smoky eye using red and black because I had on that red dress however it turned out pink because I used this pink glitter that was I thought it was red and yeah so that's why it's a little off but y'all get what I was trying to do comment down below if you guys would love to see me do more makeup along with my wigs let me let me know what you guys think so many people let me know I should awesome your world, yeah. yeah, yeah. Somebody told me I should hit and run, but they don't. So now that the unit is on, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the hairspray on top of the lace to give it um, that extra hold and make sure that the wig is on secure. And then I'm just using my blow dryer on the cool setting to dry the glue. So I have an average to small head size so some units are a little bit larger than others for me and this one the lace was a bit long so I ended up cutting off just one braid over the ears on each side. almost done so now that everything is fully secured down I'm just going to comb out the baby hairs and cut them a little bit shorter and then lay them down with some more gots to be the regular glue and I'm gonna skip through it a bit because it took me forever to try and get these baby hairs down y'all so you already know like it's a struggle for me sometimes this time a little bit more than it usually is on me yeah, no escaping from my mind, but low key. You know that you one of a kind, wanna show me, baby. baby. The things you feel do with that body, yo. Show up everywhere that I be, yo. All you wanna do is party, yo. I know, yeah. I know. all right you guys if you have made it this far this is the final look comment down below let me know what you guys think about this unit me personally i love it this is how the baby hairs turned out y'all like they were you know they were there they were okay but you know the hair covered up most of it so all we care about right now is the wig 
so I did add a little bit of the hair cuffs or jewels or whatever you guys want to call them to the unit just to spice her up a bit and yes this was perfect I am so thankful that we here sent me this unit to review like I said online they stated this was 20 inches but as you can see this is like 30 it's way past 20 and I don't mind this wig is so versatile if you know what you're doing you can do many different styles with this unit this is another style that I tried half up half down style and I thought it was super cute so if you made it this far and you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button because I'll be back with more reviews and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this review comment down below and let me know what you guys think and like I said all of the information will be listed in the description box down below so you can go purchase you one of these units honey Again, my name is Stacy Renee. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ready for me? She said, Let me know when you're ready for me. Ready for me? Ready for me? Baby, do you know if you're ready?